You just said something in that. You said you taught kids when you lived in Korea. Yeah, what is that about? Yes. Yeah, talk to us about that. Yes. Uh, I So my mom's from Korea. Okay. She and um, like six of my aunts and uncles are all adopted from Korea. So wow, nice. after I finished university, yeah, I, I decided to move out there and teach. So I like turned down a job offer. I, you know, had gone to college for marketing and sales and I had this job lined up and I turned it down and kind of had this freak out moment. And I was like, I'm going to Korea and I'm going to teach, um, you know, and I'm going to find my mom's orphanage. And I, I wanted to, I had all these things I kind of on a list that I wanted to do. So I did, I went, I went over there and I taught at a couple amazing schools for a couple of years. And Got to travel, went to Japan, the Philippines, you know, all these fun, great places. And I got to find my mom's orphanage and go get some pamphlets and things like that and send her updated pictures of what it looks like now versus when she was a kid there. So it was a really great that is, experience. And That is yeah. absolutely amazing. Like <laughs> That's if, astonishing. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you literally sold all your belongings and just went halfway across the world to South Korea. Mm -hmm. And basically picked up your life there. Like, how did that help you grow as a person? Like, what did that teach you? Oh, my Lord. So many <laughs> things. So I, so before I had moved to Korea, I was super materialistic. I'm just going to put it out there. I wanted things and I wanted money. And that's the only thing that mattered to me. Like, I wanted, that's why I had gone to school for marketing and sales. I was very driven on, like, success was, was, just materials, like how much things could I own? And I kind of had this like breaking point. So I had gotten really sick. Um, I had gotten like sepsis, sepsis, appendicitis, and parentinitis okay. of wow. my senior year of college. And so I almost died. It was really crazy. Wow. That was the most expensive hospital bill I ever experienced in my life. Well, glad you're still here. Thank you. And um, that was like a wake up call for me. And that's kind of what woke me up. And I was like, none of this matters. I don't want to do this career path anymore. I don't know what I want to do, but I know it's not this. And I want to just like travel and experience life. And money is not important anymore. And so I basically I did I sold everything I owned and only things I owned fit into mm -hmm. two suitcases. So wow. your girl used to have I, I believe I had 48 pairs of shoes at the time <laughs> um 48 yeah all in boxes still i had tons of jewelry i had tons of clothes i mean i got rid of everything down to having like six pairs of shoes and all the clothes that could fit and moved over to korea That's found cool. this cute little tiny apartment and just lived my best life and got in really really deep into yoga um that's just, I, I grew so much in a lot of different ways and just realized what really mattered in life and what I want out of life. Um, that's when I realized I wanted kids. I used to never want kids either. So I, I was like, never am I going to have kids. You know, I'm going to be Samantha from freaking, um, you know, sex in the city. Like that's, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, when I went overseas, I, I realized like how much I wanted kids, how much they taught me, how how comfortable I made them feel when we didn't even speak the same language. It was the most amazing thing, like the way that they would just like sit in my lap and they felt so comforted by me. They would like cry in my arms and I would always make them happy and they would always feel so loved. I mean, one of the little girls even told me that like she was, she was my, like I was her mom, which I was Aww. really sad because I was like, no, you shouldn't. Uh... That's sweet. But at the same time, you shouldn't because you should love your own mommy. But it was the most like amazing thing. That's, yeah. that's when I realized I, want kids and I want to adopt from Korea um, as well. I was going like, to ask you, you know, my mom. That's really sweet. Yep, I want to, I want to adopt a little girl from Korea Aww, eventually. Yeah.